Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hi, John. Welcome, everybody, to Unfiltered, a random moment with Pastor David. I'm Pastor, as audience, friends and family, uh, we on Tuesdays, we talk about current events. What I want to start doing on Thursdays is teasing out the message that you'll be uh, teaching on Sunday. And so today I want to tease, I want to tease out a little bit the message that you're going to speak about um, with, with uh, unbelief. And uh, one of the things I was looking at is in your in your notes, I was privy to see them, is that there's a, a phrase that we all know, seeing is mm -hmm. believing, right? And, and that's people can fill in the blank on that one. Mm -hmm. For Christianity, it, it's turned away. It's opposite. It's believing is seeing. And a lot of times, pastors, even with me, sometimes it's just hard to believe. You know, we put our faith in practice and, and sometimes we can struggle with the unbelief. Well, we're going to see a man on Sunday who's frantic about his son who suffers severely and he has an encounter with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that Jesus says to him is, if you can believe. Yeah. Yeah. If you can believe, all things are possible to the one who believes. Yeah. That's one of my favorite passages. When I share it this Sunday, there'll be, there, there will be emotion. You know, I'm already praying that the Lord will help me to control them because it's it's one of those passages that I um, I've been personally moved by, and so the whole the whole Christian the whole Christian walk, you know, is is based on 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 faith. Um, the most common word that is used in reference to uh, a Christian is a disciple. We were mentioning that recently in one of the studies. The word disciple is the common word that is used to to um, to define or re, um, what's the word to um, to speak of uh, a follower of Christ. We're called disciples, but we also are called in Scripture believers. And the reason that we're called believers is because we are to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And so uh, the word believers is used many times, and the word is translated believers. It's the same basic Greek root as I understand it that would refer to also faith and also trust. So if you added words of those who trusted in Christ or have faith in Christ, and it's the same basic word, and um, we as believers, those who have put our trust in Christ or our faith is in Christ, well, the way we became Christians and refer to as believers is because we believe, right? It's that simple, and and we'll look at that in more detail this upcoming Sunday. Because, as you just mentioned, you know the old saying is uh, seeing is believing, but in John chapter eleven, when Martha was speaking to the Lord Jesus Christ, re, re, you know, in reference to the uh, death of her brother uh, Lazarus, um, and Jesus had spoken concerning fact that he'd be raised from you know the dead and this and that um he said to her did i not say to you if you believe then you will see and so for us as christians it is the trust that actually uh, results in the expression or experience of seeing the lord move and so in this particular case you know the disciples and the lord have been on the mountain three of the men peter james and john were witness to his transfiguration, and so he comes down from that that mountain to the base, and there the scribes are, and there's a multitude of people, a growing crowd. When the man cries out from among, amongst those in the crowd, you know that he needed help because of a son, his son, who was um, suicidal, a, a son who was throwing himself into water and throwing himself into the fire, and um, he's desperate and needs help and. And haven't we been there ourselves in many ways, never perhaps as severely as this man who watched a child from infancy um, suffer and be tormented in this way. Not many people have experienced that kind or that level of suffering, but can you imagine the, the brokenness of the father as he came and said, I brought, him to my, uh, I brought my son to your, to your men, they were unable to do anything. And then he says, but if you can do anything, mm -hmm show us compassion and help us. And that's when Jesus said to him, if you can believe. It's not that I can't do, it's can you receive in faith what I can do. 
And so to me, that's a very deep lesson. And that's when the, the father with tears says, Lord, I believe, help thine my unbelief. It's not the areas of the things I believe in, Lord. I'm fine with those things. You know, for me, a, a life of catechism, Bible studies or whatever has been, has been fine. But to put those things into practice, to actually uh, see what is not as if it is, um, is beyond my pay grade at this moment because all I see is a broken son. And all I've seen for years is a broken son, a scarred son from the fire and a son that I can't allow to be out of my sight because he's thrown to the ground and bruised. He gnashes at his teeth, his gums and his mouth is, is bruised and sores, probably started gnashing away his own teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, how, can, how, how can I believe when the only thing I've ever seen is what's in front of me. So yeah, I, I'm looking forward to sharing that that story with uh, with our congregation, with an encouragement for us to realize that that uh, that faith is is being aware that God can do that which we that we really can't easily understand. It puts us in the realm of of trusting Him in all things, because faith is is not just uh, for the times that are easy and it doesn't make things easy you know faith doesn't make our life easier it just makes impossible situations possible and through christ we can go through these impossible situations and see the possibilities because he's always faithful Amen. he never fails us and so yeah i'm looking forward to sharing that this upcoming sunday you know as you're sharing this pastor uh you know i always think about unbelief in my life and sometimes it will lead to hopelessness mm -hmm. but when we have our faith in Christ I mean imagine Jesus I, as you're sharing I was getting a little misty eyed because I, I could imagine this father mm -hmm. uh, you know our children going through this from for a long time and the hopelessness he probably had through that unbelief that he probably tried everything he did and even bringing him to the disciples he, you know, Jesus wasn't there, so he did the best thing he could. He took them to the ones that spent time with him. They had already cast out demons. They had already done miracles. They had done things, but they couldn't in this case. And their failure caused his faith to even go, go lower. It even made it more difficult. And so, yeah, um, I do believe that that this Sunday will be a good study, and I won't go beyond that yes, right now. Yes. And I, you know, so if they're not going to be able to be with us, perhaps they can watch it online. If they can be with us, if you can be with us, it probably would be worth your time. It would be. So please invite your friends and family to come out and join us. This is going to be a good study. I know it is. Uh, yeah. Services are at eight thirty and ten forty-five, and then we stream it again at two p.m. online. Uh, but there's nothing better than just coming to church and worshiping the Lord. And well, we can. Him. We should. Right. And so, uh, Pastor, thank you for this. And this is a good teaser. You guys, you come on out and join us. We look forward to having you join us again. Services are at 830 and 1045 a.m. Amen. Pastor, thank you so much. Right. God bless you guys. Thank you for tuning in.